This is a Saturday evening. I'm headed to look at a beehive in a rental property down near the beach. Dang it, I gotta pull over. So what we're looking at this afternoon is a rental property with bees in it somewhere. From the text I got from, from the uh, rental management company, there's expanding foam all around wherever they are, but I see expanding foam all underneath of this thing. So let's look for activity, activity. I don't think anybody's home yet. Looks like they're either not moved in or they're moving out. I'm gonna beat on the door just in case. Yeah, they make a- You found a yellow jacket. Uh, yeah, it was like a big old- That, that would have been yellow jackets. Okay. The, hun the honeybees are back in the back. Okay. How come everything's on the carport? Nobody want to carry it upstairs? <laughs> my uncle, I tell you. Oh. <laughs> so my husband had to go find somebody else <laughs> because my uncle didn't want to bring it up to the house. I think your neighbors are coming to meet you. Oh, Say hello, oh. bring you some, bringing you some cookies. As long as they can bake real good. Yeah, as long as they could. <laughs> I'm going to go back here and look for a minute. Okay, thank you. So, um, anybody gets bees and gets a bright idea to close them in with expanding foam, don't even bother. It doesn't take them long to chew back through it. They just keep on working. All you do is box them in for a minute. As soon as that stuff sets up, you got 20,000 bees inside chewing on it, ready to get out and go forage some more. And now all that's left is a hive still in there and you got a mess. But probably maintenance guy or somebody did this just didn't know any better he closed all the seams all under the house which is good still you still need to close it up to keep the pest out it does help to keep bees from coming in but once they're already in there it's too late I'm trying to do a little video for y'all on this one but there's not much sun down here in South Pass Christian <laughs> I think all these overhanging trees block the sun out. Now it's it's overcast pretty good today and stormed all morning. This is kind of a historic area down here, a little bit of it anyway. But I got a uh, removal to work on down here. I've only got roughly two hours till dark. I don't know if it's gonna be a full removal or if I'm just starting on it. I really don't know what I'm gonna be encountering. It's been a hot one today and... Uh... Clouds have rolled back a little bit. We're finally getting some daylight. People out there enjoying up here, fishing, I'm sure. And waiters. I don't know what they're doing. They're dragging some, oh, it's a dog. <laughs> I thought they were, they were dragging something in the water. It's a Yorkie. They're trying to walk him in that shallow, ankle deep water. Really, it's turned out to be a nice afternoon. Right in that corner there, got them coming and going. Not a heck of a lot of activity. As I'm standing here looking, I see bees flying around under the back corner of this deck. 
<laughs> Look at the moon's out already. See them coming and going right here. I realize there are two colonies here. This one appears to be the stronger of the two. <laughs> that means this panel's got to come down and this panel's got to come down. So I brought a ladder. Didn't bring any scaffold. I figured I could probably reach all this from the ladder. Probably the same here. I'm going to hit this one first and see what it come up with. And if I can make quick work of it, then I might move on to the other one. But right now, the uh, tenants are worried about the bees. They're scared of them. So I might just leave the other one closed up until I can get back and actually remove it. See what's going to happen. I think I got one more screw over here in the corner to get to. were the only danger to me. Bees hadn't been bothered by me. Just gotta figure out where they're at. <laughs> they're going in right here, but I don't see them. I'm betting they're behind this insulation where this hole was chewed out before. But, problem is if I pull that down, all these ants are gonna fall on me. I ain't doing that again. Knock most of the fire ants down. Let me just pull this back and see if I see anything before I really tear in. I see. I see. Uh, yeah. All that. You can see a damp look. A damp look on the wood where it's cleaned off and it's got a lot of propolis and wax and stuff. Oh, there they are right there. I'm getting fire ants all over me again. Just on first glance, it looks like a dry colony. Doesn't look like they have any stores built up at all, or very little. That's just from first glance of the comb. So what I'm gonna do is get a bucket to carry it with me, and I'm just gonna drop comb in the bucket. Probably not gonna be a lot of brood. It doesn't look like a super healthy colony. <laughs> Look who we got coming here. You thought I wouldn't show. I beat you to it. <laughs> you slow. <laughs> I had to take my mom to get her toenails done. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. What's up, brother? How you doing? All right, man. Good to Good see, see you, man. <laughs> All right, let's see these bad girls. Yeah. I see you already got it uh, working. They, uh, I already got tore up. By fire ants. <laughs> <laughs> you like working up high, man. No, I don't you like working up high. Like that. I hate it. <laughs> I ain't built for heights. I'm built for groundwork. Yeah, I just want to thank you for bringing one of your boxes. <laughs> well, you, I tried to get the best one. You, you picked out the best one. Best one out of Abby. <laughs> Well, you know, when they flood, man, you got your pickings are you know, not too good. Yeah. So this is really one of the better ones. Yeah, that's pretty. <laughs> that's, that's beautiful. <laughs> man, nothing but the best over here. Look, you even brought a little follow along. Oh, yeah. <laughs> man. Yeah, because uh, we ain't got no highs like that at the 618 Dirt Rooster Ranch. 
Well, you know, when you when you when you're low rent like us, you know, you, yeah, you, you got, got to you got to get what you get. Take what you get. <laughs> nah. And and uh, oh, truth, this is one of my boxes. I'm not gonna lay that on you. <laughs> well, thank you, man. But I'd go along with it. <laughs> I want you to look good. You're a lot better pretty, looking than me. Oh, you're these right. Are, what do you call food. these things, man? Chrysalis, wax moth chrysalis. Oh man. I guess that's not a good thing. You don't want that in your hive, I guess, huh? <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> I know there's so good. many, I thought it might have been a good thing. It's good food. It's good food. How many of those you, can you eat? <laughs> I don't know. Man, this box is better than new. Perfect. The, frame, the frames, you can't say that much for the frames, though. They're pretty rough. Oh. <laughs> I tell you, I saw this on the side of the road. I just saw it and grabbed it. I don't even know whose it was. Some poor sucker that had a hive that died out and he didn't take care of it. <laughs> Here, here's a good, nice, fat, juicy wax moth larva if you've never seen one before. I can't grab him. Let me. That's what a wax moth larva looks like. Quite a bit bigger than a hive beetle larva. Yeah, a little bit. And they got that. They're not slimy either. Yeah, they're not slimy. They got that brown head on them. Perfect bait for uh, brown fishing. Yeah. Stay on the hook real well. Yeah, that sun's going down. Professional. Randy's getting ready to go up on that ladder. Professional videography <laughs> in action. Sunset and bees. Or a good combination, ain't that right? You're right. Can't get better unless they're in the box already. Might as well. I might have to come down and get some glasses on. Now they got honey in it, but I bet you it's crunchy comb. No, it's not. Hey, um, Jeff. Just for reference I sake, I got a, a coin clip on that water faucet. Right there below me. I got one. Okay. If we if we can find her. Cause Jeff likes to start in the dark and it's hard to find him in the dark. Don't you think that? I know. I, I'm, I'm like at the house at this moment. Like. <laughs> <laughs> you him. Are you in bed this time of the night? With my shower and my pajamas on. <laughs> That's a small one though, right? Yeah, this is a small one. Medium size. All this wax you talking about? They have a gland on their belly where they produce wax and they put it together in this fashion. Yeah, here you go. <laughs> you go overload the ladder, man. No <laughs> way. I've only been stung twice. Tonight? Yeah, just now. Once, once in each arm. Now this one here's got some brood on it, so we're gonna start queen spotting on this one. Then we have another sting. There's a queen right here on this one. There's a queen, Jeff.
Yeah, I figured it was about that size. This is really? a fairly small one. Mm. I got the queen here. Jeff don't play. Yeah. When it's hard like that, it don't crumble. It don't fall apart on you while you're trying to work. So we banded up uh, three rows of brood. Got the queen. Where is she? Come on, there she is right there. If I get that under the camera, you can probably see it. Look at that, he got the queen. Yeah, she is. On that first frame, he pulled out. <laughs> no, it was the first brood frame. It was the third frame. Third, uh, third cone. He's modest. He got it the first one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it was it was so dark, I couldn't even see it. There he is. Like, see, I wanted to play hard to get with it. I didn't want to act like I was all that, you know. <laughs> and that was the end of that one. Jeff got up there and finished it off so fast I could I couldn't frame him up fast. He was pulling him down <laughs> like a crazy man on that ladder. <laughs> and uh, we left. You can't see them now. They've crawled back up in that framing, but there's probably a thousand bees up in that floor. So I'm gonna leave this hive here to, to tonight. Queen's in there in that clip banded between the brood or on top of the brood so these that are in this floor come find her tomorrow and we'll probably tear in and get this other one that i'm sure is in this corner right here tomorrow as well and i'll, I'll put that insulation and floorboard back up all right now <laughs> this video light's blinding ain't it? i can't see <laughs> <laughs> I can't see, man. <laughs> oh, I gotta turn it off. That's just killing me. Oh, no, no. you That ain't gonna That's, be enough light, huh? Well, probably not. Uh-uh. You got to put on the big one. That's, Let's just... Yeah. We, we got can't, we can't, and bear. Yeah, we can't drive home for 30 <laughs> minutes because neither one of us can see after staring <laughs> at this light. But, uh, yeah. yeah, man, that was a that was a fun cut. That was a quick one, too. Quick. I never be... They don't, they don't ever be that easy for me. I, I huh? can't believe it. That's why I need to be with him more. They're quicker. They're faster. <laughs> bam, 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 finish. You know? And it's nice and cool. Of course, it's dark, yeah. but it's nice well, and cool. you got to get it done before the batteries run out on your camera. <laughs> I got a big battery. That's, That's, <laughs> That's the problem. You, know, you go to a smaller battery, it makes you run faster. <laughs> Well, thank you, Jeff. We had a good um, time. It was a great time. Still okay. got something hanging on you. I know it. They're coming to the light. Is that one on my neck? Yeah, there's yeah. one on your neck. Yeah, they're coming to the light. So uh, we're wrapping this up and getting out of here. All right, sounds good. Mm -hmm.